Going by Lawrence uh, in uh, the uh, light pool uh, uh, switch on. Let's just have a, a bit of a walk underneath. Wow. Welcome back to a brand new video. So it's light pool tonight in Blackpool. So we're going to go and have a look at all the different lights and have a look at this uh, fantastic event. So uh, come and join me. So we found our first one. It looks like it's an octopus lamp. And this is just located just opposite Mark Ellis on uh, Dixon Road. And look at that, it looks fantastic. So it's all sealed off, but yeah, look at, look at how amazing that looks. It's one of those lamps you sort of have on your uh, your lounge. And uh, yeah, it's the, uh, the first one, so we're gonna go and hunt the rest of them. So we're just near Mark Ellis, and that was the uh, the first one, that lamp, the octopus lamp. So I believe there's another one near Sainsbury's. So we're going to go and head over towards Sainsbury's and make our way down to the uh, the promenade. Now uh, the second one we've uh, visited is uh, just near Sainsbury's, and uh, look at this one. So it looks like it's not on at the moment, but look at the uh, the size of that. It looks like a, a huge bauble what you uh, you pop on your uh, your Christmas tree. Look at that. And again, it's all uh, all fenced off. And uh, just uh, a new building, so I haven't been at this way for a bit. We've got the uh, rail side and uh, the brew house. Look at that one. That's a, a huge one. That's a nice and swish, that one. So I haven't been in there. And uh, it certainly uh, looks a, a good one there. So it looks like if you, you fancy a, a bite to eat, try the uh, rail side brew house. Yeah, it's going back to the uh, the ball. Look at that. It's, uh, Looks a, like a, a huge Christmas ball. So yeah, onwards and upwards, and we'll, we'll find some more. Now we're just making our way a little bit more forward, up towards the uh, St John Square, and just look at that tower. And you see the uh, new DWP building, just to the, uh, the right, and that's all lit up. But yeah, this is the, uh, I think this is Cookson Street, I believe, um, just near the, uh, the DWP building. Like I said, the tower looks stunning. So we just uh, pan the camera around to the right. I know this is more towards the uh, the light pool, uh, but I thought I'd uh, just grab that. You see, every light on the new uh, DWP building is all lit up. Uh, this is just another street, uh, just heading towards St John's Square. Look how still and deserted this area is. And this is just near, so I think it's Queen Street, this one, just near uh, Cash Converters, and just a little bit up from St John's Square. But yeah, I thought I'd bring this, because it looks uh, very, very quiet around here. So we just arrived at St John's Square, and uh, the one of the uh, the lights near Sainsbury's, uh, look like the, uh, the Christmas tree ball, uh, they couldn't find the, uh, the key to the generator to turn it on. And it looks like this one, um, I don't know what's going on with this one, but this one is not on either. You can see they've got the, a low loader, got the, uh, the uh, sort of dividers and everything on that one. But yeah, it looks like, uh, I'm not sure if this one actually lights up the uh, the star. Uh, I can't see any sort of generator to it. But yeah, this is the uh, St. John's Square, amazing star. And so yeah, we're gonna head on a little bit more into town and capture the uh, the other ones because there's some fantastic ones just around the corner. Going by Lawrence uh, in uh, the uh, light pool uh, uh, switch on. And it looks like it's going to be a fantastic event, Lawrence. Yeah, look, look at your surprise. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, well, it's, uh, yeah, so it's obviously when, when we get some light on some of the things, they're going to be very illuminated. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Look forward to it. Yeah, no, definitely. definitely. Fantastic. Very nice to see you. And yourself. Very Thanks, Lawrence. <laughs> so I'm just going to head a little bit more towards the uh, the promenade now. It's unfortunate there were the, the keys uh, sort of gone missing, shall I say, in uh, regards to some of the uh, the lights. But what a nice surprise to meet Lawrence the Weld Bowen in Blackpool. And if you don't know who he is, uh, check out the description. We'll pop the link into him. So he is very very famous. So yeah, we'll keep going forward and uh, see what else we can see on this uh, light bulb. 
So just uh, heading a little more forward now. You can see the tower is lit up now, lovely red, and all the spectacular colours of the, uh, the Vintro Lounge. Blackpool certainly comes alive at night time. What an what amazing place. So yeah, like I said, we're going to head on even further into town. Oh, the majority of these are all off. There's only a couple who are on. And the reason being is because they lost the key. The wind-up key. And uh, they don't know what they've done with the wind-up key, which is crazy. Like I said, the wind-up key is mysteriously gone. So hardly any of these are uh, actually going. But nevertheless, we've got a couple. So we'll bring you those. I mean, how crazy is that? They're losing the, uh, the key. And this one's all expands and all sorts. This one, this is a uh, quite a funky one. Look at this, we'll go a little bit closer and have a look. This is the, uh, the new Ron. This one's called. And uh, like I said, it expands and all sorts. It's like, it reminds me of like sort of crystals, this one. Crystal display, look at that. That's a, that's a colourful one. Plays a bit of music and all sorts. Look how you see it moving around. How amazing does that one look? See a black bull tower now, sort of streaking the, uh, the green colour. That looks uh, great as well. And this is the uh, comedy carpet. And you can see uh, it's quite windy actually, but you can see how busy the uh, comedy carpet is. And again, projected onto the tower. And he's all the sooty and sweep, it looks like. So, so it is quite disappointing. The, uh, like I said, they lost this wind-up key. Now all the people, you know, would have come from all over. Possibly be slightly disappointed. So hopefully they find the key uh, very, very soon. So, yeah, this is uh, the uh, the comedy carpet. You just see how many people have come for this one. Like I said, this is the uh, projection. We just went back again because the uh, sadly, like I said, we're hanging around for oh, these uh, lights to go on. Absolutely. But the uh, like I said, the well, key hasn't uh, turned up yet. There's Emma and a few of them. They do actually create these illuminators for you. And one of them's in the box tonight by the name of Sarah. So if you want to give Sarah away, uh, she does work very, very hard behind the scenes, as do all the light pool team. So we just now approach the uh, wedding chapel, and uh, remember those two mysterious containers which are just located there. And uh, this is projected onto the uh, the wedding chapel. Let's whip the camera around and uh, have a bit of a look what is being displayed. So here we go. And, uh, wow, look at that. So that's been projected onto the, uh, the wedding chapel. How magnificent does that look? Yeah, so at least uh, we found one that is working. Like I said, that looks uh, lovely, that. Looks like all projected from the uh, containers behind. You can see the, uh, the tower lit up in the, uh, just to the left-hand side. But yeah, it's disappointing that the, uh, the key, the wind-up key, has gone missing. Train all lit up. Yeah, it looks uh, magnificent that one. Look at that. Wow. So, yeah. It even gives off like the uh, the steam, like a normal train. Wonderful. Just uh, 
visited the, uh, the last one of the night, which is near the Metropole. And looks like this one is on. So let's go and have a, a quick look at this one. Because like I said, it's a bit of a, a disappointing night with the uh, the light pull. And uh, let's hope we can find the key uh, for later on in the week. So it is on for a few days. Everything's in the description. But yeah, let's go and have a look at this uh, last one near the uh, Metropole. So like I said, this is the, uh, the final one we're going to visit um, tonight. We might do some more tomorrow. Hopefully the others will be turned on so we can get a bit more of a, an exciting video. Because like I said, it is very, very disappointing for everybody. I mean, they might come on later on. It is about sort of half past eight at night. And there's, uh, you know, sort of the majority are uh, sadly turned on. But this one is like sort of, like sort of the chimes. Uh, what's going on with this, looks like? Fantastic, so let's go and have a, a closer look. And uh, you can see here that sadly looks spectacular. Wow, look at that. So it's like those, you know, those uh, wind chimes you get outside, you put them outside your house. And uh, that certainly is incredible. So this is the uh, Somnus, I believe this one's called. Look at that. Wow. So there's, there's just hanging. Obviously they're attached, but they're actually just sort of hanging down and sort of playing a... I don't know it's going to the wind or... Wow, how amazing does that look? Have you seen anything like this before? Let's just have a, a bit of a walk underneath. Wow, how dazzling this. Look at that. That is uh, certainly incredible. It's uh, just a, a slightly different angle. It's, uh, it's mesmerising. It's quite amazing really. So what do you think of that one? That was uh, really good. So you can see we were also accompanied by a couple of police horses. I'm not too sure what's been going on there, but they had the old flashlights out a moment ago. Uh, and it's like they, were, they are searching for somebody or someone. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't have thought we've had horses out tonight. That is the uh, end of the video uh, for today. Like I say, it's such a shame that they uh, haven't found that wind-up key most of the, uh, the life started so we'll try again tomorrow it's a bit of a disappointment but we did see some amazing ones and we also met the uh, famous Lauren Lowell Bowen so that's a, a bit of a treat for everybody so until next time thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button hit the like button and any comments I will try to get back to you as soon as possible take care and it's a bye from me bye bye